Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepy at gmail.com. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to help traders to build algorithm trading robots. It can backtest and live trade with inter interactive brokers, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade. You can download iBridgePy from www.ibridgepy.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more tutorials are coming. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about iBridgePy start to support Python 3.9 on Mac system. So I will talk about the following topics. First, is Anaconda Python active? Because in my Mac system, I have installed Anaconda 2.7, 3.7, 3.8, and uh, I know a lot of users have installed Anaconda into their Mac, and there are some confusions about how to use uh, plain Python versus Anaconda Python. Actually, iBridgePy does not support Anaconda Python at this moment, so it's critical to understand if the Anaconda Python is active or not. Then I will talk about to download or install the latest Python 3.9 using Brew. Because in my local system, I have multiple Python systems, so that it's critical to understand which Python I'm going to use. Then. We need to understand the Python package manager, which is pip. So I will talk about how to use pip, how to understand where the where are the real location for packages, and as a demo, I will install pytz, and then we will talk about install dependencies for iBridgePy run on Python 3.9. Then. Let me switch to a real demo. Let's open uh, a terminal. So first thing I would like to understand is Anaconda Python is active because I have Anaconda in my system. So right now, oh, uh, my local iBridgePy folder is called Yellowstone iBridgePy. So when you see that, which means I'm in my iBridgePy folder already. So right now, if you run Python run me.py in this folder you will see some errors like this segment for the error 11 you may not know what does it mean so there's something wrong seems like something wrong so to find out what's the problem we can do something like this just simply type python so in this way we can activate python in interactive uh, console However, we found out Python system right now is 3.8. Also, it mentions this is Anaconda Python, which means right now, if I type in Python, which means I'm using Anaconda Python because I have Anaconda Python installed already. So the question is, how can you tell if Anaconda is active or not? Let me tell you the secret. The secret comes from here. When you see this parentheses base, which means very likely means your Anaconda Python is active. I mean, not 100% sure because you can come up a virtual Python and also it will show something like this. So I would say if you follow the step to use Python first and check if you are using Anaconda, and if you see parentheses with base, which means very likely your Anaconda Python is active. That explains when I say python run me.py, it has some it fails because in my local average pi I installed for Python uh, for Python 3.9. And so that's why it failed, failed for a string method a message right now. So how can we use the plain Python? Because iBridgePy only supports plain Python 3.9 at not 
plain Python at this moment to deactivate Anaconda Python is simple. You just say conda deactivate one word. It's deactivated already. You can if you compare this line and with this line, you will see the parentheses base disappeared because Anaconda Python is deactivated so that this one disappeared. So if I type in right now Python, you find something something strange because you see I'm um, right now the default Python is 2.7. But what I really want is Python 3.9, not 2.7. This is too old already. So which means let's check which Python. It tells me it goes to default user bin Python, and this is a native Python 2.7 to Mac. But how can I how can I use Python 3.9? I can do which Python 3.9. Okay, so which means I installed Python 3.9 there. So we talk about so seems like we should use this Python. And then I want to talk about uh, how to install Python 3.9. The easiest way, and we highly recommend everyone to use this way to install Python 3.9 is brew install Python. So brew is a, a Mac system to install things. And you can say you can tell I have Python 3.9 installed already and updated. So if you don't have the latest updated Python 3.9, it will install Python 3.9 for you to your Mac. But I have it. That's why when I type Python 3.9, it gave me Python 3.9 already there. So that's a pretty good thing. And I want to know which Python 3.9 it comes from here. Also, I can check Python 3. So actually, I have Python 3. Which Python 3.8? So I have Python 3.8. So I have installed a lot of Python versions already. So that I need to use Python 3.9 for the work. Okay, the next part is what is the Python package manager for Python 3.9? So the answer is pip 3.9. This is the partner. I call it the partner with Python 3.9. With because pip is the Python package manager for Python. And if I say, actually, I can say pip list. So we, let me make it larger. Because I have different Python, and different Python go with different pip. And the correct pip to go with Python 3.9 is pip 3.9. And you can see what I have installed by doing pip 3.9 list. And this is the packages that I have installed for my Python 3.9. And the Python packages lives in your local folder. To find out where is the real package locates, you can do something in Python 3.9 and show pandas. Because pandas, I installed pandas there already. So let's do that. And it tells me that the real Python pandas lives in here, user local bin Python 3.9 set packages requires different things. So which means if I use pip 3.9 to install 
different packages. This package will be download, will be downloaded and installed into this specific uh, folder for you. Okay, then the next thing is how to install a package. For example, I want to install, let's say, PYTZ, which is a package. Uh, okay, should be pip 3.9 PYTZ. Uh, install PYTZ. So you can see requirements already because I have PYTZ already. And so if you, let's see what I don't have, SciencePy. So uh, I can install other Python packages, let's say Massplot, lib, something like that, but I don't want to demo it. I just, oh, I should do install. Then it will install this uh, uh, Massplot. Lit, but I don't need it at this moment. So uh, in the other tutorial, we talk about use pip, and use there is a file in iBridgePy called requirements.txt. So we are in the iBridgePy folder, and let's do requirements.txt. And this is the requirements, and I listed them there. And as I mentioned in other tutorial, you can use pip install -r requirements.txt and to install dependencies for average pack. However, I run it a few times, and there's some very strange errors. As you can see, maybe wait for a little bit. But actually, right now I have installed all of dependencies manually, so that it's not a problem at the moment. Oh, okay, it still fails. So you can see there's some very strange failures, very long error messages. There's no way to debug what's going on. And you see that's a problem. However, we don't need to use pip install r requirements.txt. Other than that, what we can do is we can manually import all of these dependencies by using pip 3.9 install. For example, let me show you. It's a little bit, it will take a little bit of time, but it's very straightforward. So install numpy. And I have numpy already. And then the next one is sciencepy. I have it already. And pip 3.9 install matplotlib, I have it already, and actually just go through the whole list, I have finished all three, but if you just go through the list, you will find out it's not that hard and it won't take too much time, install pytz, Install pandas, and the last one is pip 3.9 install requests. And that's it. I have all of the dependencies installed just by putting in pip 3.9 install the package name so that uh, let's take a look if I have them. Actually, if I do the pip list, we have installed PYTZ request, sciencepy, pandas numpy, matplotlib, multitasking already.
after all of the dependencies have been installed, then you can open uh, IB Gateway or IB TWS to try to use Average Pi. So I have IB Gateway uh, started already and make sure the uh, the port number is 7496 then in the iBridgePy folder what I can do is using python 3.9 run me.py to run it okay you can see uh, because my default uh, example in runme.py is example show positions and you can see it print out as, uh, as we expected the account information and position and others if you have any so if, up, if you see this information which means you have successfully installed Python uh, 3.9 on Mac and successfully run iBridgePy already Thank you very much. For any questions, please send an email to ibridgepy at gmail.com. If you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known render coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.